Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. I got a good video for you today. Today's video is gonna be on a fire in a prison that killed four people. That's what we know right now in Tehran's Evan prison. It's a political prison where political prisoners are being held and there was a fire that killed four people. I'm gonna get into fire in prisons in this video, so I think this video will be real good. Before I get started, please let me thank you all for all the nice words. I was a little sick this last few days. I had food poisoning. I'm over it pretty much. <laughs> I'll tell you what, boy, it sucks when you're a little bit sick, but I'm feeling a lot better right now. Please check me out on YouTube member programs, Patreon, Discord. Check my merch out, the book, Gangster Redemption. Of course, the cigar, the Crooked Diamond, is now uh, gonna be delivered to people here soon. We're getting our first order in. Uh, it's pretty exciting and uh, you guys will all be uh, a part of that. We also have the cruise coming up. The cruise for the uh, what we're doing here. It's just pretty exciting stuff right now. Jo uh, November 18th to November 21st, Carnival Cruise Lines, uh, the Liberty ship out of Port Canaveral leaving uh, that uh, the 21st. So if, if you wanna get on that cruise ship, you can get a room on that and be involved and make sure you email us and uh, Join the party, that's all I could say. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a three day wild party time. But I'm gonna get right into this video because I am back. I was sick, but you know, I was still reading the paper. I was trying to anyway. And I read this great article, and I hate to say great article. When people die in prison, it always, you know, something, whenever I see that, it just drives me crazy. Because I remember how scary fire in prison would be. They don't do fire drills or any of that nature, you know. Oh, what are you going to do? I love the fucking fact they'll do something. They'll say, okay, we're going to have a fire drill. Or if they'll do one fire drill, you know. I think I've been in one or two fire drills in all my time in prison. And it's not even a fire drill. They just do it during the day and they make you get out of the unit. Obviously, uh, they're not gonna let open the compound or anything of that nature. They don't want people to be running rampant around a prison if there's a fire. Obviously, that's a big escape risk for them. But you are trapped. Now, we often used to think about what would happen in a prison cell if a prison really had a serious fire. Uh, you know, it's almost hard to believe there could be a really serious fire in the housing units in prison because there's really not much to burn. I mean, it's concrete walls, steel frame beds, uh, steel windows, steel, the, everything is steel. I mean, obviously a mattress, clothes or something like that uh, can catch fire. A uh, paper or books or whatever you had in your cell like that can get on fire. But really when you think about it, what's gonna really burn? It'd have to be a really, really hot fire for a building to burn when there's no wood. There's not, there's not wood in these buildings. These buildings are made of uh, concrete, uh, cinder block. It's, they, these, they don't burn. I mean, I, I'm trying to think. Well, in here, I'll give you, there was a towering blaze at a notorious prison housing political prisoners and anti-government activists in Tehran's capital. Killed four inmates, the country's judiciary, said Sunday. The dramatic scenes of the nighttime fire have reverberated across Iran's social media. Flames and thick smoke rising from Tehran's Evan prison had been widely visible Saturday evening as nationwide anti-government protests triggered by the death of a young woman in police custody entered the fifth week. In online videos, gunshots and explosions could be heard in the area of the prison. The blaze was extinguished after several hours and no detainees escaped, state media said. Now, like any of these states, and this goes for the United States, I don't know how much I believe what they say. The United States says they have a good prison system. I know for a fact we don't have a good prison system, so it's gonna be hard for me to believe anything the United States says about its prison systems. Oh, but, Here's where they're saying the prison of fire started in, in a sewing machine factory area. Now, this is something I'm starting to understand more because in the prisons I was in, we had what they call Unicor. Well, in Unicor, let's take the Atlanta Penitentiary, they made mail bag. They had three different factories in Atlanta. They had furniture, they had mail bags, and they had BDU, which is battle dress uniforms for the military. 
All of those things are very flammable and all of those things could have a massive fire. Now, what they're saying, which confuses me in this whole article, is that this happened at night. Most people are saying that no prisoners work in Tehran after sundown. And if that is so, then how did four prisoners die? And watch this, others were injured with smoke inhalation, 61 others were injured. It said all four died were in prison on robbery convictions. Why do you have to even bring that up? But who knows? Authorities have attempted to distance the events at the prison from the ongoing protests. While state media has offered conflicting accounts of the violence, hundreds are being held at Evan, where human rights groups have reported repeated abuses of prisoners. It's not many prisons that are really humane, except the ones I talk about, whether it's in Germany, whether it's in Sweden or Norway, or some of the other better countries I could say that I've uh, researched and know that are a lot better than the prisons that I talk about on the other end of things. Families of inmates gathered Sunday near the prison, hoping for news of their loved ones inside. Mazuma, 49, who only gave her first name, said her 19-year-old son was taken to the prison two weeks ago after taking, uh, taking part in the street protests. I cannot trust news about this health, his health. I need to see him closely, she said. Well, here's another thing that might confuse me, but just this is because it's another country. In the United States, if you get arrested for any kind of offense, you're going to a county jail. You're not going to a prison where they have factories and all that kind of stuff. You're not doing that. You're not going uh, to a prison like that. You're going to a county jail, which is what they call a pre-holder, a pre-holding cell, pre-holding prison, where they, they have inmates who are awaiting trial or awaiting charges. Another man, Rezo, who also gave only his first name, said his brother has been in Evan prison since last year after he was involved in a violent quarrel. He did not call us in recent days, and following last night's fire, I am here to learn what happened to him. Ten inmates were hospitalized, with four of them in serious condition, Maison reported. It said some prisoners tried to escape but failed. None of that surprises me. It would surprise me if they didn't try, because there's going to be people who are bad or good. Or, But listen, it's natural to try to escape prison. Most countries won't even uh, charge you for an attempted escape uh, like Germany or, or any of the Norway or Sweden or all the, the normal, I say the normal prisons in Europe and uh, prisons other than the United States because it's considered a, a natural act to try to escape prison. It's not considered normal to accept your fate and just stay in prison, especially when you believe you're innocent of some sort. So. This, this confuses me as well. State uh, TV on Sunday aired video purporting to show the fire's aftermath of scorched walls and ceilings in a room it said was the upper floor of a sewing workshop at the prison. This fire was caused by a fight between some prisoners in a sewing workshop, said Tehran Governor Moshe Manzuri. Iran's social media post challenged state media claims over the cause of the fire and apparent explosions at the prison. Former Evan inmate and rights activist Atina Demi said in, in a tweet Sunday that normally all prisoners are sent to their wards and the workshops are closed by sunset. Iran's state-run IRNA media news agency reported Saturday that there were clashes between prisoners in one ward and prison personnel, citing a senior security official. The official said prisoners set fire to a warehouse full of prison uniforms, which caused the blaze. He said the rioters were separated from the other prisoners to de-escalate the conflict. The official said the situation is completely under control and that firefighters were extinguishing the flames. Later, Tehran prosecutor Ali Salishi said that calm had returned to the prison and that the unrest was not related to the protests that have swept the country over the four weeks. You know, whenever something like this happens and, and massive amounts of people die, and, and I believe there's going to be, out of that four, that is seriously, four died, serious, serious, 
let's say even half of those die, 61 more were uh, uh, hospitalized with smoke inhalation. Uh, where were these people? Did they take over the prison? Was there a riot? Usually, you hear from inmates who have access now to cell phones or access now to some kind of way of communicating with the outside world. And or some of the guards themselves are usually uh, let people know what's really going on in these prisons. So I'm a little bit confused on this one, but what really perked my interest was the fire end of it. No matter what riot I've ever heard of or seen, in it, and, and especially in any today's or normal prison that wasn't built, Jesus, even Atlanta that was built in 1903, 1903, I don't think it can burn down. It's all concrete. Atlanta was built with cement. It's built literally the walls and the uh, everything is cement and the beds are steel. Nothing burns. I don't think you can get a fire hot enough to burn unless it's with stuff like they say in the sewing machine uh, room, whatever they were making in that room. How did that become such a wide and big fire and explosion? I don't know. Did the facility have to come in with big heavy artillery to stop a massive riot? I don't know. You wonder why they wouldn't report just a straight riot. Uh, it sounds like they're underplaying whatever happened in a prison, but let me explain about a fire in a prison. First of all, if there's any kind of smoke or anything that's going on in a prison, you're dead. You die. You're in a locked cell and there's no guard coming to get you or even unlock the doors just to unlock them and let everybody run. Uh, I don't know what the protocols are in a prison, but I'm sure it's not just let everybody out. You are talking about being a trapped animal and it's kind of scary sometimes. You know, it's, it's no wonder today that I have claustrophobia. I never had that in prison at all. It, I, I never had that. Now, I'm claustrophobic on a plane sometimes. I have to have a room with a balcony or a view or a, or somewhere I feel like I can break something and get out. I couldn't be in this cell now. It, it, it would just, I'd have to, I don't know what kind of uh, inner strength I'd have to uh, muster to, to try to save myself from going fucking batshit crazy. Because thinking about a fire in prison is something that just, it gives me the chills because Wow, I mean, smoke is the one thing that kills you in a fire. It's not the flames, smoke. And once smoke gets in there, there's no way to open a window there. They shut down the vents. Well, during fires, that's the first thing that goes down. They usually shut down vents so it doesn't spread a fire. Well, what happens with all the smoke in there? How does it get out of your cell? How do you breathe? I mean, I, I can't even imagine two people being in a cell trying to kill each other to put their head in a toilet and try to, you know, get close to the water and keep flushing to get air when you keep getting the water out of there. I mean, I could just think that's the kind of stuff I'm thinking of right now. It boggles my mind to think that these guys or people were in a cell and, and had smoke inhalation because smoke inhalation says there's no way you can get fresh air. Well, you can't break a window in prison and get fresh air. They, you know, they're unbreakable. You can't break those. I'm sure I'd be trying and I don't know what I would break it with. I, you have nothing to break it with. It's not like I could take a piece of the bed post and rip that off and try to break the glass or whatever that is, that hard plastic that you can't break through to get to the outside. To just, Cause that's just seeing the outside. Cause the window is this thick if there's a window and it's yo high and it's this th and the, you can't break it. I, I've seen them broke. I don't know how they broke them because I've been in cells where there were no window and you'd freeze to death or you'd sweat to death, whatever the season is for that matter in Atlanta. I just don't know how it was done and uh, what, you know, what happened in that cell. I've seen fires in cells. I've, I've watched a guy light a garbage can on fire. I've seen mattresses go on fire in a cell, but nothing burns. I mean, I've watched them burn out. Uh, I've never have a scene where a fire spread in a prison, period, because there's nowhere to, sp what, what's gonna spread? What's gonna burn? 
Now, if this fire they're saying in Evan prison in Tehran is seen from miles away from way down, it had to be a massive fire. That massive fire had to be in a factory of some sort, closed factory. The people had to be either in that factory or near that factory to get smoke inhalation. Unless the factory is right next to a housing unit and then the smoke seeped into these people and these people died in there. That could happen and I thought about that a lot. Ah, cause reading this article, I kept thinking, how can this happen? What happened here? How can this happen? What, what situate? And I thought of every scenario, understanding prisons and how they're built. And they're not built with wood. There's no wood framing anywhere. There is, all, I don't care what prison it is. I've never seen in my life a prison built by, with wood. Just for that fact. One, it can burn. One, people can get out pretty easy. You, you, it's a lot harder to get through a concrete wall than it would be a, a fucking two by four or wood wall, period. So the only explanation I can have is if a factory went on fire and the smoke could leak into the housing unit and then either kill people in their cell or, or, you know, with smoke inhalation. And then you have to question yourself, why didn't they get them out of there? I mean, if they know that prison, that that is on fire and there's a bunch of human beings uh, pretty close by, you would think, you would think they would just automatically, you know, send a bunch of guards in there, get them out. Now, the more uh, logical explanation is there's some kind of riot or some kind of, as they say, an altercation, and people died in the altercation. But it's not just saying that. This is Blaze kills four inmates in, in Iran. Now, it doesn't say, you know, during prison riots, one set, you know, inmates set fire to the factory and they were in there, and or it, in this one case, they're trying to say two factions. They're not even saying the prison itself is in, involved in a fight. They're saying two factions had a fight in the prison. And then what do you do? Now, how does that happen? Why doesn't that explain? It would explain a lot more to me if that's what the, the prison did. The state media said, said, listen, there was a riot. They tried to escape. They set the factory on fire. Poor people were close by and they ended up getting smoke inhalation. We ended up saving arrest. 61 went to the hospital or 61 had smoke inhalation. Four seriously injured, uh, but they're at the hospital. It's kind of like a very sketchy article. Uh, now, this article is done by the Associated Press, which is one of the outlets that I actually read and believe. Usually they're pretty good. Uh, so to me, there's a lot of questions going on about this case, a lot. But fire in prison can give you the chills. It gives you the chills because of the smoke. It doesn't give you the chills. There's no way I ever thought I would burn to death in prison, you know. My, my biggest thing in prison was always uh, suffocation of some sort or sickness where you not let out of your cell and you, you can't get medical help. And I've seen that numerous times. And I've watched people die numerous times for lack of medical care. You used to think about smoke inhalation or smoke in, in a prison. I often worry just about gas too. Uh, uh, you know, Syrian gas or uh, some kind of gas like that, that they can just exterminate everybody in that place by just dropping one Syrian thing and just wiping out everybody in one stop. Because there's nowhere you can go. It's not like, okay, I can get all mad enough and we're gonna rip down the door. That's not happening, people. You are locked in a cage. A cage that's not even airtight. It's not airtight either, obviously. I mean, I guess you would try to put put um, some clothes under your uh, your door uh, to stop the smoke from coming in. It's not gonna stop it. It's gonna come from the sides. It's gonna come from everywhere. It's, it, it, there's no way you could stop that. I mean, smoke is like anything else, like water. It's gonna find its way in. How much gets in before they do something? And it could come through the vents itself. So there's a lot of explaining to do, to me, in a prison fire that kills this many. And this many are sent to a uh, hospital with serious injuries. Uh, all and 61 with smoke inhalation. So that sounds like they were in one one area that had a lot, uh, filled with smoke and, and people died. Why they weren't released, I don't know. What could happen? I'm sure besides the units themselves, they have an outside perimeter wall. 
or fences and they could you know national guard it right around those fences nobody can get out and that's the end of that i mean that's just what they could do i'm seeing personally more and more prison uprisings around the world i think people are starting to realize how fucking tyrannical some of our governments can be it won't shock me at all if there's more and more american uprisings because of the conditions they're living in and uh, the communications devices they now have in prisons. I'm, I am in talks with an attorney on what can happen there if I start communicating with a prisoner. So I am uh, talking to some legal experts that can help me on that end of it because I'd like to bring some people on who I think can highlight what's going on today, in prison today. So it's not like this is just back in my day, so to speak. It, 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 it's getting worse, if you ask me, and and it's kind of sad. But fires and prisons kill, and there, there's no question about that. And I almost hate to say it, smoke in prison kills. It doesn't have to be a fire. Smoke in prison kills. You don't have to have one flame, but you could have a smoldering fire and it could kill anybody. It's kind of like uh, uh, gas in an RV. You know, uh, you could have... Pr uh, uh, methane gas from the generators or whatever come in carbon dioxide and kill you in, in, in an RV like it does in a vehicle. Anything to do with that, man, gets you feeling very tight in the chest because you're feeling, wow, this can happen. And it can happen. It's why they always ask, and that's why I personally always look for an exit at any hotel I go to or any uh, facility where I'm up high. I do look for where that exit is because I know what would happen if that, that building filled with smoke. First of all, you wouldn't know. You better learn where it is, kind of get your coordinates straight, get low to the ground and get to that exit where you can get out of the smoke because the smoke kills you. Very rarely do flames kill anybody. Smoke inhalation kills most people. But fires in prison, I guess, are real. Rare as they may be, they are real. But I'd still like to stack up the number of deaths by fire by the number of deaths by inmates and guards. I can tell you right now, just one of those groups, guards killing inmates, kill a lot more than any fire will kill. And uh, either group, and I'm not saying what group, right, wrong, or indifference, either group. But with that said, check it out yourself. I'm gonna Google that article. I am glad I am back. Thanks again for all the well wishes. You'll see some couple cool videos coming up for Sunday and then back to my regular schedule and I'm feeling good again. And thanks for all the support, everybody. Have a great day. Please make good choices. Don't want to see you in any kind of prison situation. Period. I'd rather see you read about it. I'd rather see you watch my videos, read about it, or uh, ask questions. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe, and please make good choices. Take care, everybody.